Hey everybody, how's it going? Wicked Digger here. Thank you for joining me. If this is your first time on my channel, well, I appreciate you watching the video. My name is Chris. I'm going to be out here metal detecting this field today. I've had colonial finds, 1800s finds, 1900s finds, you name it, all on this property. So hopefully we find some good stuff, save some good history. Um, and thank you very much to everybody who has come back to watch and support my channel. Truly appreciate it very much. And uh, hopefully we get some good stuff. I will keep you posted. Thanks for watching. Well, there's my first target. Don't know what it is. But it's definitely a piece of old stuff. And it looks like those holes were uh, hand punched in there with a tool of some sort. Uh, old piece of uh, thin copper. Uh, all right. Let's see if we find something better. So this sounds pretty deep. Um, and it's kind of bouncing just a little bit, but it has a good tone to it. Um, almost kind of sounds big. Well, let's find out together what's going on in here. Let's see if we shovel in here and. I mean, it's got a good tone. I don't know if it's like a, if it's a coin, but it's possible. If it is. It could be a big one. It could be a big. Yeah, it could be a big chunk of melted lead or something. Yeah, I think that's what that is. It's a big glob of crap. All right. Well, it sounded real good. But they're not always good. And sometimes they sound terrible. And it's something fantastic. This signal was a 1921 VDI. A little bouncy. I thought for sure it was going to be trash. But I'm pretty sure it's like a convex button. Look at that. Or concaved. It's got the shank on it. Sorry if it's windy. Pretty sure that's a drilled shank. This is an old button. I wonder if there was something else on this. I'll have to clean it up and see. I, no, I don't think. I think it's just a one piece and it's just the design of it. It's like cup shaped. Wow, that's a beautiful button. Man, I'm happy to have that. What a nice, nice button saved right there. All right, we'll throw it inside the container and we'll uh, keep swinging along, huh? Sweet. I don't know what we've got here. But whatever it is, sure is tacoed. I'm going to try to pop this. See if we can see what this is together. Before I try to bend it. it looks like it's got some like gold wash on it. Oh, oh is that a, that's a key plate escutcheon. I see the keyhole in the middle now, I think. All right, let's try to slowly bend this just a little bit. Ooh, it's so scary. All right, at least like that for now. Oh, yeah. Check that out. That was the keyhole. It's a little escutcheon plate. Well, we'll try to clean it up and see if there's any writing on it. And I will probably put it in like warm water or something and uh, see if I could straighten that out and bend it back I don't want it to snap but I would like to have it straight so oh that's a beautiful piece that thing is cool I wonder what it went to could have been a chest you know a little jewelry trunk or some sort very cool nice little relic Woohoo! keep going all right we got a uh, Screaming 9192 right here. Sounds small. Let's see if it's a uh, modern quarter or if we got something better. Maybe it'd be silver or a US large cent. Or it could just be a big piece of junk. Brass pipe or something. Copper piping. Ooh. 
doesn't seem like it's very deep. Whatever it is. See anything? What is that? That's that's what it is. A piece of junk. Big piece of uh, can slaw. I don't think there's anything else. Yep. Hey. That's the way it goes sometimes. Huh? Gonna take a simplex down this way. See what we can find. Just got a really big sounding target, but it sounded really nice too when I lifted the coil. Um, you know, it dissipated pretty quickly. If I get a good signal and I start lifting the coil, and I make it a foot, <coughs> excuse me, a foot or more off the ground, chances are it's a big item. This one didn't really do that, but it's. I think I know what it is. I only took a slight peek at it, but. I believe this is a bell. This is a, uh, it might have been like a desktop type bell or off a bicycle or something. I'm not really sure, but that's where we're connected to the rest of it. And we had a little bell. That's pretty cool. Hey, eh? we'll take that relic and we'll keep swinging. All right, so not very deep, right? Here, we've got a solid 69 VDI in the simplex. Let's see what that brings us up here. Could be trash, could be zinc and coin. Oh, what is that? I don't know what that is, but it's definitely not trash. I don't know if it has any design on it. No, it looks smooth, smooth on both sides, I think. I wonder what that would have went to. Wow, I'm finding all these little scutcheon type pieces today. I don't know. It's pretty fancy looking uh, you know, with the design. I mean, not super fancy, but it's pretty cool. Huh. Sweet little relic. About an inch in the ground. We'll take it. Finally got a coin on the day, and boy, this bugger was hard to find. I don't even know if it's modern. Or old, hopefully it's got some kind of, oh, it's a stinking zinking. Oh, it's even a newer shield one. Horrible. <laughs> All right. It's one scent that will not even go through the coin stop because it's so corroded already. Well, we'll uh, keep moving. we got only a few more minutes, uh, probably about 10, 15 minutes longer. So this target sounded just like a coin and it was a lot deeper than it said it was. So I knew it was going to be big. But when I popped the plug, I saw a little piece of brick in here, which is cool. But that is not my find. It's this little silver wash buckle that's my find. All right, got a little silver wash D. We'll take it. <clears throat> Been a little while since I found a, a D buckle. That one's definitely nice and uh, got some nice silver wash on it. Pretty cool. All right, hopefully you get on something good here. There it is. It just came out of the hole. Whatever it is. Wow. That's, I think, a very old rains guide. That is neat, boy. That thing sounded good, too. Very nice. Cool, cool relic. I don't know what we have going on here, but... And then right here, Let's dig this one first. Might be junk, might be square nails, might be a possible spill. Let's find out. Yes. 
No, it's a rock. What do I do with it? Whatever it is, fell down in here. Uh -uh. Oh, it's a barber dime. It's a barber dime. Let's get some. Uh... Actually, before I even dig that, we're going to dig the yellow hole and uh, make sure there's nothing else in here, of course. But look at that. Definitely a barber dime. All right, all right. We'll find that other target here. Man, that might be, that might be a quarter or a half or a couple of coins in here. What's going on in here? Whatever it is, it's right in here somewhere. Oh, this might be something bigger. What is that? What the heck? I think this is all lead. Big chunk of lead. Or something. I don't know. I'll have to clean that up. Alright, so it wasn't a coin. But, we do have a coin right there still. Nice silver barber. Looks like 1901. Yeah, baby. One dime. I don't believe I see a mint mark yet. Nope, no mint mark. But happy to have a sweet barber dime. We'll take that. See if we get anything else here. Woohoo! Alright, let's check this one out. All right, definitely sounds like a coin. Let's see if it's silver or wheat or something modern. Who knows? See anything yet? I don't. I don't see anything yet. Let's find out. It's down to the left of the hole a little bit. Head of a rivet. All right, pretty cool. We'll take it. Keep swinging. Got another strong target here. Bouncing 92 to 93. Sounds like it might be slightly big, but that's tough to tell. Sometimes they sound that way when they're shallow or just the way they're facing. If it's if it's something that's straight up, or if it's trash. What is that, a rock? Ooh. Let's see what we got here. Oh, the way it's pinpointing it sounds really big, so I'm gonna dig it up, see what it is, and let you know. Just a big piece of that, big chunk of copper, like copper flashing. All right, oh well. All right, something green right here and this thing is sitting straight up I haven't touched it looked at it I'm sure it's probably an Indian by the color of it oh yeah instantly I could see the one cent on the back and here's the front of it looks like it's definitely an 1800s one can't quite get a date but I think it says 1898 or 6 maybe Yeah, I'm not gonna wipe it anymore. We'll uh, let it dry out, clean it properly. Uh, I just noticed my fingers in the camera. What a dummy! All right, cool. Indian on the board. Is 
This was a screaming 94, 95 VDI. Look at the size of that thing. It's one big old buckle right there. And that's about all the time we have for the day, so we'll throw this in the bag and get back to the car so we can go pick up the kids from school. But uh, yeah, if we get a signal on the way, maybe we'll dig it. If not, thanks for watching.